Welcome back everybody. It is another episode. Okay, so we're here with the pigs. It is time to prep them to go to slaughter for tomorrow. So they are going to be getting there and we are going to look at them as they are uber cute and they let us pet them because they are cute little fuzzy piggies. And fat too. They're a little junky. Yes, they are. Big girlfriend. Well, could be a dude for all I know. Huh? What's up, little guy? Hmm. You're cute. So fat. Anyway, they go to slaughter tomorrow. So, we're grateful for their chubbiness and their porkage. Isn't that right, little guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh little ears. They've been friends. And they're cute little pigs. My son Talmadge is quite the pig whisperer. And um, so it's a matter of us getting these things in. Now, one of the issues of trying to get pigs to slaughter is getting them in a transportable vehicle of some sort. And some of the frustrations is really finding out what do you put them in, how do you get them there, and how do you get them inside. Um, I am not going to go ahead and grease these pigs and try and catch them. So, the standard approach is you put them in a trailer of some sort, and the best thing you can do is bribe them. Normally, I would have done this Monday in preparations for the Friday slaughter date. As you know, there's a lot going on, and that just didn't happen. So, I didn't do it. Now it's Thursday, <laughs> and uh, I haven't had any time to train them to come into the trailer so this is going to be interesting and i hope tomorrow morning works out we'll get that on footage before i release this video so you'll see but um, now it's time to prep to get a trailer here and get that in Okay guys, we're gonna do this in stages. All right, first of all, transportation vehicle. We have a trailer, all right? So with all the stuff that's been going on for this bad week, um, which is now a week and a half, Steve and Steve's granddaughter offered to let us use their trailer. My other option was to take my 16 footer, that's kind of like a flat bed with a little rail, Jimmy rig a box around it, kind of stick it in there. I mean, it was gonna be kind of redneck style, probably, could have worked and probably would have worked, but this is, oh my gosh, so much easier. We can just back this up and go. So what we have done was we have measured the back of the truck, the trailer, and this trailer is an aluminum trailer. The whole door opens up. So you can see the width here. The whole door is gonna open up, it swings. We're gonna back this up to the actual fence and we're gonna cut an opening in the fence and back this up flush with it, okay? Then we're going to leave the trailer overnight for tomorrow. And the goal is, of course, to get the pigs in it tomorrow morning because I have to be at the processor by 8.30. Oh, um. You on? Yep. I'm going to tell you about the plan that we're going to do first. Okay, so this is the opening of the trailer. The opening in the gate is only going to probably be this big or actually in the gate, whatever, in the fence. We're gonna cut it through. We have a four foot high woven wire fence and then we have two strands of barb. We are not gonna cut the barbed wire because it's only supported so many times and well, I just don't want the last night somebody to get through, okay? So there's gonna be barbed wire about up to here. We'll have a ramp to get in from underneath and the pigs will go in, okay? Tomorrow when we come, we're gonna to have to shoo them in and then somehow block it off drive forward and then swing the door shut. So if you're wondering why don't I just back the trailer all the way in, it's because the opening we're creating is not big enough to accept the entire trailer. That's why. Um, I could do that, but my fence posts would come out to like here, mm -hmm. and then I have to block out this side and I have to block out that side and the underneath still. So I'm just gonna do a, a, a narrow spot. That's the goal. We'll see if it works. Time to move on. Uh, I think we're going to 
with it now. You can get moved closer, Nilo. Got a lot of space. Keep working all the way up to the fence. Keep going all the way to the fence. Just about four, three more feet. Yep. Stop! I think he found me. Found your boots. Hey, Vicky. Hey, hey! Don't you nibble on me? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing nibbling on me? What are you doing? <laughs> Ow! That was my finger. Wow. Stop it. Hands on it. Ooh. Pick it up higher if you can. Yep. Oh, ooh. <laughs> you drop it. All right, just set your end down, maybe. Yeah. There. That's going to be the door. Let's make sure I give him bananas. If you give a pig a piece of plywood, they'll try to eat it. Hi, piggies. Hi. Hi, guys. They're so funny. They're so big. Hi, piggy. Hi. You're such a good bag. So notice we're only going to go down to the top bump. And we thought, hey, it'd be an amazing idea if we just left all of that down there alone. So we're going to leave that. Watch out, Tumage. We're gonna fold this all down. There we go. They're nice and secure still. I like that. These piggies. They're just picking it up. So they're gonna come in here to eat everything. <laughs> I can't believe they love this plywood that much. All right. So we left, like I said, the barbed wire up top. We're gonna leave that alone because it goes all the way across. Now it's just a matter of getting this little ramp. and This ramp isn't going to stay all night, but at least when we get here in the morning, we can put it back up and try and shoo them in, hopefully. But it's not we're not going to screw it down or anything. All right, let's see if we can get this ramp. Hey, pig. All right, piggy pig. Pig, 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 pig. I just try and pet him to walk away. <laughs> just try and pet him. That's the top side. Will that hold a pig? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Will it? Is that I'd rather not test it. Well, oh. maybe we do need the full sheet of plywood. Here, hon. I think we need a better ramp. Uh, let's see what we can jimmy rig. Yeah, they're breaking. <laughs> they're breaking. I think it's falling apart. Can we just stick pallets underneath it? Right, pallets might be enough support. Be careful, they're gonna take the poor thing. There we go. Hi, Peggy's. Ah! Okay. There we go. Now we got some support. Not the best ramp. <laughs> I don't think our uh, food source is that great for me. 
Puppy's just terrorizing this thing. <laughs> we just came with big toys that we did. All right, change of plans. We're gonna remove this ramp. It's just too wiggly. They're gonna lift it up and over. So we have this uh, carpeted triangle shaped stout thing that we're gonna move over here and see if that will work. It's not as long, so it's, it's more of a, an incline at first. I don't know if it's gonna work, but this obviously is not necessarily. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give that a shot. Thanks for the surprise. Got it. All right, so watch out for a piggy. Okay, watch out. Oh, little, little piggy pig. Little piggy pig. Grab it from the bottom and then just like. Just flip it over from your. Just flip the top yep. and roll it. All right. There you go. It's down. Enjoy it helping. Pig's found a new friend. We should probably have a very eventful night considering. Oh, yeah. They're like, look at all these people. All this attention. This is the time of night they're interesting to hang out with. Mm hmm. Actually, you're about to do it. All right, so this is... <laughs> Sorry, this is so cute. Okay. But the pigs don't seem too interested in it right now. <laughs> They're all worn out. This one is We have purposely not been filling these things up super full because we want them to go out. We would have done this again, like I said earlier in the week, but that didn't work out. So I'm gonna dump this and I'm hoping they get hungry when we bring food tomorrow that they'll be more apt to go up the ramp, whatever kind of ramp we happen to have. So let's get rid of this food. You never know what you're gonna find. Tomorrow's the day. We're gonna have to go with this. We might use some shields, like these guys on the sides to direct them. We've got some extra plywood pieces. Maybe we'll try and shoe them. Um, but I bet you those suckers are heavier than I am. So tomorrow's the morning, we'll catch you tomorrow. All right, the morning of. Uh, struggle's real. <laughs> and as you can see, except for the back bed light, we can't really see anything. So. The pig, ooh, ouch. So the pigs are out here. I'll see if I can get anywhere near a light. They ate my hand. All right, little pigs are out here. This is what they look like. And I hope you can see them better than I can because I can't see them at all. So this is butt crack early dawn. It is so early the sun hasn't even shown up for it. Crap, why am I talking to a screen that doesn't even look anything but black? All right, let me see if I can find some other place. <laughs> Get a flashlight, guys. Get a flashlight. Okay. We got ourselves some watermelon. Yeah. We got ourselves some watermelon. We're cutting that up. Um, we're trying to find any enticements possible. We do have some uh, marshmallows as well. Yes. Big, chunky marshmallows. If any of you guys are the praying sort and have ability to retroactively enact your blessings, please do so now and take a moment of silence. This is going to be a long day. We've got about 45 minutes to get this done. And those pigs are stout, man. They are stocky wee beasties. No. Back to plywood. Maybe we say forget marshmallows and just give them plywood. Walk right by. No one's attacking me. 
our little tunnel here. We're evolving. And we're hoping, yes, we're evolving. We will show ourselves greater than apes. Our other biggins in this group are going to go over and get more plywood, and we're going to try and make a little run, and we'll close it off behind them. We know that they can come up. I know that they're apprehensive, and I don't blame them. Good job, Chica. Be the temptress you are. That sounds bad. Lead them down into eternal destruction. Oh, you want it too? Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna try and swing this, grab that guy. Yes, that's good. what I don't want to have is like that pig trap idea where one pig gets trapped and then all the others learn not to go in it. All right, we are set over there. We have this tunnel now that we've created, and our goal now is to take a watermelon probably a little bucket, and we're going to place it right at the foot. And then have them all get into this little passage, and then Grant will block them off there, and we're going to be standing either side of this to try and get a little chase capture thing, and then shoo them in from there. This could be dumb, but it may work. All right, someone come take it. We're trying to think on the fly here, and we're now down to two. We're trying to get them all back together, but yeah, if Grant, if someone could, like, we're not doing a good job. Now we're down to one. Okay, so we're doing a fabulous job. I think they're all thirsty. Hey, pick, pick, pick. Pick, 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 pick. pick, pick, pick. That one's right behind you. Pick, 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 pick. Pick, 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 pick. We've got one straggler. With We've got three. We just need this other pig. That's behind. Pick, 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 pick. Come on, Piggy, Wakey, Wakey. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Wakey, Wakey, little Piggy. Efforts are getting more difficult. We gave him some time to rest, to relax. We're gonna get a bag of corn. Um, I wish it was fermented corn, but we knew that Putting a trailer out right now with only a day's, less than a day's notice isn't a lot of time for them to acclimate. So this isn't going to be the easiest process. But we just got to get all four of them inside that wooded area and one just won't go in. So we're restocking with our marshmallows and we're getting a bag of corn. Hopefully that'll help. Seriously, just hold, stand on that sucker like crazy. Okay, four piggies in. Dumb luck, don't know how, don't ask questions, it's there. All right. This one. Yes, now somebody's got. Clark. Sandra, go down there and kind of help hold. Yeah. Now we just got to get him in. This case Which... stood up on it. I don't know. I this is me. Weird. Ugh. Like, I'm on marshmallow. Can you see them? It's that marshmallow. There's more marshmallows up there. Once one of them figures see? out this Back legs going. They were waiting for Charlotte to get back to allow us to maneuver these wood panels without getting knocked over because these pigs are stout dudes. Come on, hey pig, hey pig, go, go pig, go pig, hey pig. Jeez, you're insensitive. Innocence. You ever slap your hand before? <laughs> Not this hard. All right, can we? I didn't know the hand. No, 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 no. Hey, they're gonna move. Watch them. Watch them. All right, careful. They're that guy's gonna not moving. Step over your side. <laughs> just stick up. That's a beefy pig. Much talk. Go pig. Oh, Thomas, don't don't do that. Shh. Oh. No, no. Don't Ooh. slap the ham at the wrong time. <laughs> ham shall not be. Oh. Slap. Yes, 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 oh, that's kind of rank. Okay, we're at the last stages here. We can't get him to move. So Steve's coming with some gentle persuasion. And it's not something that we wanted to do use, but frankly, if you've never loaded a pig before, sometimes you gotta just 
give him a gentle tap. Our hands aren't big enough, so Steve's on his way. We're gonna try and encourage them as much as possible, but you're gonna have to use that cattle prod and see if that'll get it moving. Well, that proved fruitless. We tried using the cattle prod a little bit. The pigs just don't wanna go up in there and uh, they ended up bull rushing Talmadge and I at the corner, right at the peak of that triangle, and just, they shoved themselves through and there's nothing we could do about it, so. We've tried rounding them up some, um, but it's just too much space. So, we're gonna leave them. Um, I'm gonna miss the processing date and gonna go back and call them and see if we can change the date or if there's, what options we have. We may end up just processing them by hand. Um, I don't know, so this just, uh, what is it called, exemplifies or gives, shows the reason you need to have good handling facility to round them up. A quarter, you know, almost a half acre is great to run around in, but you gotta have some way to gather them in. So I'm gonna do this little research, see what other approaches we can have, um, and see what else we can do. So anyway, we'll keep going with this video at some point. Thanks for joining, talk to you later, bye.